Hey guys, make sure you click the link in the description if you missed it, man. This is our most recent video. It is Hollywood TW and IQ Contained versus Nadex, TNB, and a Hall of Fame TNB. Like I said, links in the description. Ah! YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Banyo, and we are back with another video. Now today, as you can tell by Banyo's majestic face, we have something special for you guys. But before we get into the video, man, like I always say, if you have not liked the video yet, you don't brush your teeth. So make sure you click that thumbs up, turn that thing blue, and let's go ahead and jump on into the video, man. Now today, we have a shot stretch, aka a speed boosting sharp. Now this reminds me of a mixture of the NBA 2K17 speed boosting sharp, as well as the NBA 2K19 shot stretch that, you know, the famous Duke Dennis shot over those with the entire year. So... This is definitely a build that I am excited to bring to you guys. I'm going to be grinding it myself, trying to get it up in overall, as well as getting all my badges before I bring it to the park. But with the patch 3 update that just came out, we learned that now with 80 ball control, we can get our pro dribble moves, aka we can curry slide with a 6-6 six, six play sharp or shot stretch or whatever you guys want to call it, man. There's, there's just so many different things that you can call this build, so... Let's go ahead and move on over to it, man. We don't have a wheel spin today because I already did it to get my double rep this morning. But we're going to move on into the video. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you a real quick thing that you guys probably don't know about this game. So you can actually make your builds a half an inch in height. So I'm going to show you real quick in features how to do it. I'm not going to do it for this build because I really like it at 6'6", six, six, to be honest. But if you want to make the build 6'6 six, six and a half. And the game's going to think that it's 6'6", six, six, but you're really 6'7", to be honest. Um, you simply go to settings. You're going to go down to your system. And you're going to change your units of measurement to metric. Um, that is metric. So it's going to be on Imperial. You're going to make the build in the actual My Career Build Creator, like over here in the Builder Files. Then you save it. And then you go simply switch to metric. Then you click back on the My Player Build Files, and you open up the build, and you make it. It's pretty easy, but for... The sake of this video, we are going to go with um, a fresh build file, and we're going to show you guys this uh, speed boosting sharp, aka shot stretch. So, now you guys may be asking, you know, like, yo, man, what do you mean shot stretch? It's six six, guys. Centers are playing the center position right now at six eight. This is the most undersized two K. Following NBA two K twenty, honestly, we expected it, but. The average center height is 6'8", so a 6'7 stretch is not that much of a difference, much less a 6'6". And this build is basically going to be ISOing, to be honest with you. Um, it gets a really good driving dunk and driving layup. Well, not really good. It's it's average. It's a 70, which is about what you can get on just basically every single ISO build this year. And it's going to be 6'6", six, six, so you're going to be way oversized compared to these 6'2s and 6'3s guarding you. But let's go ahead and move on into it because that's what you guys are here for. So I'm going to go right-handed, you know, typical number double zero. Let's move on over. So our skill breakdowns now, there's a couple of options. You guys can make the actual shot stretch that cannot speed boost. You're just going to have to fade around screens and stuff. And that is the pure green one. But my version of the shot stretch, the one that's going to be more usable, is the one with a little bit of playmaking right there. That's going to give me a 74 ball handle with an 84 three ball right now. Now we move on into this category. For our physicals. We are going to go with the, obviously, the all speed because we want this build to be as fast as possible. Now, we move on into the categories, the attribute upgrade category. So, for finishing, we're going to max out our driving layup and our driving dunks, which actually gives us a pretty good driving layup and driving dunk. My pure stretch dunks with like a 62 driving dunk. And a lot of play shots are dunking like that as well. So we're very happy with a 69 driving layup and a 67 drive. So we have mid-range shot. We're obviously going to max these all the way out here. This is going to give us 25 shooting right now. Uh, we could actually come back to this category in a minute if we want. But for now, we're going to go with 25 shooting. Now we have the most important category on every single build, which is going to be our defensive category. So we're going to put up our lateral quickness, our perimeter defense, and our steel. Then we're going to come down to defensive rebound. And we're going to put that all the way up. Now, since this is what you would call an ISO stretch, or you can use screens and fade, we are going to make sure we have our block up and our interior defense so we can guard the ISO as well on the twos court. Now we move into the playmaking category. So we're obviously going to yank up our ball control and our pass accuracy. Now we have eight left. So we're going to dump those eight into playmaking. 
Now, if you guys feel that you need more playmaking, a little bit less shooting, you guys can actually knock your shooting all the way down to 22 and get yourself some more playmaking. So you can go 1, 22, 20, and 7. Now, personally, I feel like this is kind of devious. This is what I'm going to do. Now, if you guys feel like you need those extra three shooting, by all means, go with those extra three shooting. But we are going to go 1, 22, 20, and 7 on this build. And right now, we have a 79 speed, a 77 acceleration, and a 63 vertical. So let's move on into our next category. We have, you know, burly, built, and defined. Those are the only real options that I would use on this build, but I want my boy to look huge. So we are going to go with the burly option on this. Now, this is where things get tricky. So it all comes by your definition on what a shot stretch is. Now, if you want this build to technically be a shot stretch, it needs to be 6'8", 6'9". But like I said, most centers this year are 6'8". And when shot stretches were 6'8", 6'9", every big man was 6'11", 7 foot. So a shot stretch by all means should be at least, you know, an inch or two under the height. That way you're faster than the big man guarding you. So you could go 6'7". You're not going to get pro dribble moves. Um, you get a 75 ball handle. So you're going to be five points short. So that would mean even at 99, you wouldn't be able to get pro dribble moves. Now, if you go 6'6", or you do the method, like I showed in the beginning of the video, to make it 6'6 six, six and a half, you will be able to speed boost. So this is pretty ridiculous. Now let's look at these numbers here as I go ahead and drop the weight all the way down. That way we can get max speed, max acceleration. We want this build to be as fast as possible. So right now we have a 78 ball control. That means at 97 overall, I will be able to curry slide on a 6'6", essentially pure sharp. Now, hear me out. It's actually going to be 96 because I haven't even touched wingspan yet. But let's look at what this weight's affecting. So we have an 85 speed and 83 acceleration. We do not care about strength. Most big men, most big men actually really have like a 50 to 60 strength this year. So you have a pretty good strength. Now, this build is not made to play the center position, as you can see by that defensive rebound and that block. And honestly, that interior defense is a little low. But like I said, this is a shot stretch. So this is meant to play the two, the three, or the one. So now we move to our wingspan. Now, when we drop our wingspan, we have a 79 ball control. That means at 96 overall, you will be able to curry slide on this build. That is right. A 6'6", six, six, essentially shot stretch, aka pure sharp, can curry slide. So that is a speed boosting stretch, a speed boosting sharp, if you will. At 6'6", six, six, at 96 overall, you will be able to curry slide fools and, and run and fade. Now, let's move on to our shooting category. This is looking devious. We have a 92 midi, a 93 ball, and an 89 post fade. We really don't care about the post fade. But that three ball is going to be a 94. We're already above the 85 threshold for greens. If you guys follow 2K Labs, they did put out some information saying that you needed an 85 three ball in order to green essentially every shot consistently. So we hit the threshold and we're getting the extra threshold, which is the 92 threshold, which actually will give us an insane green window. So we'll probably still be able to fade. They haven't patched fades in patch three. This video is post patch three. That is why we'll be able to get the curry slide stuff. So because they brought it from 86 down to 80. So now this build is actually going to be devious. So let's move on into the next part of this build. Now, this is where it gets tricky. So we can be a speed boosting sharp. We can put sharp take on this build. Or we can be a shot stretch. And we can put shot stretch, shot, shot take on this build. Or we can be a shot stretch and we can put shot creating takeover on this build. However, we also can get playmaking take on this build. Now, with the state of the game, you know, they said they gave us ankle breakers. They did not. Um, if you've paid attention to any of your favorite content creators, whether it's me or um, anybody else, if you've been supporting them lately, um, especially today on 928 when the update dropped, uh, there were supposed to be ankle breakers today. They did not put ankle breakers in the patch. It is it's very soft. We don't get enough of them. The badges are kind of useless. So making this build right now, I would go sharp take. But this build, I still needed to get it to 96 overall, so that's going to take me a few days. I assume they're going to put out some fine tunes. 
That way shot take and playmaking take can get ankle breakers. So I am actually going to go with um, shot take here in a few days. But for this build right now in the state of the game, guys, you are going to want to go sharp take until they add ankle breakers. But you will still get ankle breakers on this build. As you can see, this build comes out as a sharp shooting facilitator. Now, if you don't want this to come out as a sharp shooting facilitator, you make it as a 6-7 um, small forward. It'll come out as a sharp shooter or a shot creating sharp shooter. Or you can make it as a stretch and you will get a play stretch. But I love this sharp shooting facilitator. I don't really care about the hype, man. It can still play. You know, the two and the three if needed, if my teammates want to ISO or if I want to ISO on it. So let's go ahead and move on over to the build tester. So for the build tester, we're going to go over badges, you know, everything that you guys need for this build to help you guys, you know, be at the top of your gameplay. Sorry, my girlfriend is yelling across the house right now. So we're going to go with consistent finisher as our one finishing badge. Now we have shooting. We're going to go with Hall of Fame Green Machine. Hall of Fame Range, Hall of Fame Hot Zone Hunter, as well as a um, Hall of Fame Volume. Now we're left with six upgrades. So we're going to run our Bronze Deadeye. This is shout out to my boy Kriziti, if you guys know who that is. He uh, he played a lot of wages with Tysino and 2K20, him and Igimo. Um, my boy Chris always tells me, you know, Bronze Deadeye. That's all you need. So that's all we're going to run. Then we're going to run our Silver Difficult Shots, as well as our Silver Catch and Shoot. And our bronze clutch shooter, that way we can know we're going to knock down those shots at the end of the game if it is a white. So that's going to be my shooting badges for this stretch. Now you could make some adjustments and not run Hall of Fame volume and do like a gold flexible lineup where you run bronze catch and shoot, something like that. But I do love having Hall of Fame volume as I'm going to be the main ball handler on this build. So we're going to run this right here for our shooting badges. Next, we have playmaking. Now, playmaking on this on this build is something devious. We do get Dimer, we do get Floor General, but they're going to be gold. So we're going to start us off with gold quick first step. Gold unpluckable and gold handles for days. So that means that my build with a 94 three ball at 6'6 six, six can get basically curry dribble moves and have gold handles for days. Now we go into the state of the game. So with the state of the game being said, I would not run Space Creator or Ankle Breaker, but I'm going to show you guys what I would run the moment they add ankle breakers. I'm going to add gold space creator and gold ankle breaker. So I get snatchbacks on not only. Um, so, my, so my snatchbacks are ankle breakers and then my space creator animations actually get ankle breakers. Then we would be running our gold dimer as well as our silver bailout. Now if I'm playing with a guy with a, high th with a low three ball, I'm going to run gold floor general. And then I will make some adjustments like this. That way I can have gold dimer on for him. But for the time being, I'm probably going to be playing with sharps, if not uh, pure stretches. That would be what I'll be running. Now, with the state of the game being said right now, this is what I would run at the current state of the game. So, I would be running silver bailout, gold dimer with the um, gold stop and go or a gold needle threader. That is the two options that I would use, basically switching needle threader and stop and go um, for the current state of the game with the way the ankle breakers are. So let's go ahead and move on into the next part of the video, obviously our defensive and rebounding badges. Now we are going to go with gold clamps, our silver pick dodger, and we're left with two, and we're going to throw those last two on silver intimidator. Now you could make some adjustments here and not run pick dodger and run silver rim. But that is up to you. If you guys are playing big men on this build, you guys should take off clamps, run gold rebound chaser, and bronze rim with a bronze box. That way you don't get your box outs broke as much. But this is a phenomenal build. You know, I, I think seven defensive badges is a little too small for you to be able to play big men with it. But at the guard position, at the two position, is a phenomenal build. So that's going to do it for the video, though, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is a speed boosting sharp, a.k.a. shot stretch from NBA 2K19. Or the speed boosting sharp from 2K17. It's your boy Hollywood. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on your way out. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, make sure you click the link in the description if you missed it, man. This is our most recent video. It is Hollywood TW and IQ contained versus Nadex, TNB, and a Hall of Fame TNB. Like I said, links in the description.